Okay, in this video we are going to learn how to solve a system of simultaneous equations using our solver function with a little bit of help from our AND function. So we have three equations here and three unknowns, the variables x, y, and z. And we are first going to, like always, go to our F2 algebra to open up our solver function. Now we're just going to type in each equation and use the AND function between them. So the first one is x plus y plus z equals 6. So we'll type that one in. x plus y plus z equals 6. Now we need our AND function to show that there are two other equations. In order to get to the AND function, this is kind of hidden, um, it's within our math which is above the letter 5. So we're going to hit the second key to go to and then press 5 to open up math. And now it's under um, choice 8, which is test. So we will scroll down to test, hit enter, and now we can see again choice 8 is and. So we can scroll down to number 8 and hit enter, and now we've um, entered the and. Now we can type in our second equation, which is 2x minus y plus 3z equals 9. 2x minus y plus 3z equals 9. We'll use our and function again. So second, the 5 key, will open it up. Choice 8 is test, choice 8 is and. And now we will type in our third equation, 3x plus y minus 4z equals negative 7. So we have 3x plus y minus 4z equals negative 7. Now we're done with all three equations. Now we just use a comma to show that we're done. And now we have to indicate what we're solving for. So since we have more than one variable, we're not just solving for x. We want to solve for x, y, and z. We need to use our squiggly brackets or curly brackets, which are just above the open, the open left and right parentheses. So we can hit our second key and push the open parentheses to get an open squiggly bracket. Now we're solving for the letters x, comma, and y, comma, and z. And now we close our squiggly bracket, second, close squiggly bracket, and now we close a bracket again, a regular parenthesis to show we're done with everything. And now we just hit enter. And there we go. x equals 1, y equals 2, z equals 3.